Hi, Karen. I added the accounting program assessment course for you. If you scroll down into the miscellaneous section, you'll see the accounting program assessment. Just go ahead and click on that. That will get you in. Um, there's the assessment and the surveys. I'll talk about those a little bit more in a moment. Um, but to assign students to this course shell, all you need to do is click on Assign Roles in the lower left in the administration block. And then click on Student because that's the role you want to assign a student to. You can search on the student, uh, just type in their name. Oops. And you'll see a student name. Just go ahead and click Add. Um, if you don't want other students to see them, uh, to see who else is enrolled, if you click Hidden Assignment and add them, uh, they won't show up in any visible class lists to other students. Um, you can remove them the same way. Uh, if you don't want them to be hidden, just go ahead and click Add. That will keep the student in the course. Back in the course, uh, I have all of your questions um, that I pulled from that Moodle or that uh, educator archive located here. Um, you may want to change some of the, the, you know, the configuration for the test, like assigning a password or anything along those lines. Um, but all 80 questions are there. Um, with the personal and program surveys, I tried something a little different, uh, and it's really up to you if you want to keep this or not. But rather than use that old uh, Adobe PDF form where the student fills it in, they click the link, um, and it emails. Um, we have had some issues with those uh, scripts not running correctly in uh, older PDFs. Uh, I haven't tested it to see if they work in the two PDFs that I have. Um, but what I ended up doing is I just converted these uh, to a Google form. Um, and the students could just go in, fill in all the information. Um, it's got all the questions that were on the um, PDF. And then when they get done, they hit submit. And all the data goes back into a um, Google spreadsheet. Uh, right now, I built this uh, using my uh, Google Docs account. But I, what I can do is I can change the owner on the, on the forms and then they'll become your forms um, for your Google Docs account. Uh, let me grab the spreadsheet real quick. So here's what the spreadsheet will have. It'll timestamp when the student fills the form out. Um, they can put in today's date. I guess I could take that question off of the form if necessary, um, since it's going to date stamp it anyway. But they'll fill in the boxes, you know, first name, last name, street address, home phone, cell phone. Um, they'll fill in the answers here to the uh, form, which is over here. Uh, to edit the form or modify it, you can click on Form, hit Edit Form, and then you can just go in um, and edit these questions if need be. So for the example, I think I'll just delete this today's date. Um, because it's going to be saved with the timestamp anyhow. Uh, so now, actually, if we click on that, it should be updated. Uh, now the date's gone. Um, so we can keep it like this, or we can go back to the old PDF format. It's up to you. Let me know which direction you want to go, and we can do that.